Hey, Conan. Yeah. You were talking to Bob about being an action star. Do you ever wish that you, you could be an action star? I'm sorry. Why are you I'm laughing? laughing. I'm so sorry. Why'd you laugh as you asked it? It's I a legitimate could, question. I couldn't even get through the question. It was well, just... no, I mean, because first of all, I think what Bob has done for people like me is he's, he's opened a door, which is <laughs> okay. Bob was very, no, seriously, Bob yeah. was very established in comedy. And then he went this other way and it's a huge hit and he's a big success. I feel like people are going to come calling now because as you can attest, Matt and Sona, I take very good sh uh, care of my body. I'm, I'm cut like a diamond. <laughs> and <laughs> I think you could play plastic man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, what is funny. I was thinking I would love to be in an action movie and play it completely seriously. And I'm just putting this idea out there. If there are any producers or financiers, anything like anyone, I have very long legs. So I'd like to play an action star whose thing is that my lower half, like literally from the waist down, my legs are very long and they can do amazing things and they wee, wee, they, they whip around. They're almost like whips and they're doing all these incredible <laughs> wee, wee, and, and they're zipping around and flying around and, and, and knocking bad guys out. But from the waist up, I'm completely immobile and I show very little emotion. You're like an upside down helicopter. Yeah, I'm like an upside down <laughs> helicopter. And so, <laughs> so I'm a guy who, not unlike Bob, I've got this nine to five life and women don't really pay attention to me and bullies always are, I'm sort of put upon and people tease me and I put up with it. And then finally there's this gang and they're giving me a hard time and I snap and you see me take my arms and hold on to either side of those those uh, grab bars that they have on the subway. I hold on so that I secure my upper body. I don't, my face doesn't move. And then you hear a wee, 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 wee. And my lower body starts whipping around and you see bad guys flying left and right. And uh, yeah, and then later on the police show up and the coroner's like, they've all been killed with size 12 feet. <laughs> you kill them all? You oh, they're all dead. No, they're Why? dead. And then, it, and then it comes out they weren't even threatening me that much. They were trying to ask me directions. Oh, you're just a murderer then. <laughs> I'm just a guy who thought I'm overly sensitive. You're a leg murderer. It turns out it was a bunch of 17-year-olds just looking for directions to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. <laughs> and I was like, I can take no more. And I grab onto the grab rails and whee! Wing! And my legs just start spinning at like 180 miles an hour in every different direction. They're like egg beaters. And uh, the kids are just, ma the kids are massacred. And uh, oh my God. yeah. It's just brutal and gruesome. Yeah, what's yeah. this movie called? Whirligig. Uh, what? <laughs> it's the Whirligig. This is an awful action movie. This is the best. Oh, someone's jealous that I have my franchise and you haven't thought of yours. Oh, oh yeah. The, yeah. The leg killer. That's a yes. great franchise. Well, yeah. uh, it just, it's just from the waist down, uh, he's, a, he's your worst nightmare. <laughs> from the waist up, uh, not much is happening, you know? <laughs> <laughs>